I've been wanting to do this for some time and I tried to do this project out of silk. Um, if you know anything about my YouTube channel, I started it in 2018 and I started it with silk instructional videos. I had taken a class at uh, the Craft Alliance in downtown St. Louis, the only silk painting class. I learned uh, silk painting with green label dyes from a woman named Carla Tutkin. And then after that, I continued my education, my self-education in silk painting by, you know, exchanging information and tips from other experienced silk painters and taking classes remotely. But in the end, most of it was experimentation. And I thought, you know, I, I would share that with people. And so from, from the time I established my channel, YouTube channel in 2018 to now, I have just a handful of followers, su subscribers. I was never able to get Patreon support for my art. And um, when I was driven out of French, it, it, I first just started out with silk painting. And then when the mass crisis came, it graduated to cotton dyeing and mask making and other mixed media. And then when I was driven out of the town, I started to focus on um, music healing. And so I was doing all kinds of covers from my captivity at my brother's house in Fort Myers. And then eventually uh, I was in the property of Buckingham where I escaped. And then I still continue to try to do among just, uh, not just uh, my music covers from undisclosed locations along the way, uh, but uh, some political content. And so my YouTube channel and my TikTok channel are really a combination of, of music and uh, music healing and political content and sermons and promoting some of my music for my music ministry that was stifled 20 years ago. And so, uh, you know, my political activism has to do a lot with being pro-abortion and anti-Trump, really it, it boils down to anti-Trumpism, anti-fascism, anti-neo-Nazism, and um, that's what I stand for. And so that's why I kind of gravitated towards TikTok. I was, I was literally bullied, cyber bullied off Facebook from all of the evil people in my town of Frenchtown and driven out by a corrupt mayor. And so that's kind of how I ended up here. And um, initially, I, I did have a few items of silk left. I was going to demonstrate this project on silk. Uh, I un was unsuccessfully able to gain a sponsorship from Dharma Trading Company, which was very disappointing because I, I did a lot on my YouTube channel to promote their products. And so I'm trying to figure out, well, you know, why is this? And the whole point of, of being able to learn from your karmic lessons is understanding um, you know, there's an adage that says if you if I can't remember exactly how it's worded, but basically if you keep trying to do the same thing with different results, it's, it's the it's the hallmark of stupidity. And so I realized that I have to take a different approach. And so when I what I normally consider to be an obstacle is not necessarily an obstacle. There's a different way to do it. And so I consider that. And so I tried to start this um, project with the silk supplies that I had on hand and it wasn't working for me and I, I, I don't always I don't profess to know anything God leads me to do I just do what he leads me to do and he's telling me do this in gouache um, you know one of the things that one of my readers Amy Elizabeth Tarot said was that musicians and artists are healers and so that was my my point of starting my channel with the silk painting and I realize there is so much to being able to live through your art and understanding who you are as a person and you don't have to be talented you don't have to be a trained artist with a BFA I you know I had I have a couple of degrees none of them are in art but I did have an art and a music scholarship and so um, I've been able to live vicariously through my art and I realized something that um, art classes tend to ruin you, <laughs> okay? Music classes tend to ruin you because the way traditional professors teach. And, you know, to me, and, and I'm, I'm going to give you an example of this because I'm going to do this project in gouache. And gouache is an opaque kind of watercolor. And I took watercolor classes from this uh, great uh, instructor named Kathy Cranf Cranford Futural 
who was a spokesperson for, uh, um, was it Cheap Joe's Art Stuff in North Carolina? Okay. Um, but I, and I understand the traditional watercolors say you shouldn't use white because of the, uh, because, um, you're supposed to use the transparency, the translucency of the pa paper in order to be able to, um, transfer the idea of light. Okay. I get that. But I do use gouache and I like using gouache because it gives me a more realistic look. And this is what I'm going to tell you about art. Don't let anybody dictate to you how to do your art. Don't let anybody cut you down and tell you that your art is not adequate. Um, in, in the end, you know, even the best landscapers, and I'm going to play my song for you while I do this, the best landscapers um, can't mimic the beauty of nature. We can never, never do as well as God the Creator has in creating this earth. And um, you know, we're kidding ourselves if we think we can. And so um, if you want to express yourself with any kind of media, you know, when I, where I, my daughter was in this Washington University um, Portfolio Plus program, there was a woman that did her art in tampons. And you know what? <laughs> if that's what you're feeling, do it, man. Do whatever moves you to do it, Okay. And so I'm going to I'm going to do this project but I'm going to tell you a little bit about this project cuz it has to do with transformation in my mother's butterflies. And if you go on to my TikTok channel back when I was a basket case still trapped on the property in Buckingham, my mother's butterflies followed me there. My mother's butterflies I've identified as a species that's in uh, uh prevalent in the southeast called white peacock. Okay? And I had some great footage of white peacock butterflies that followed me to that property. And there are white peacock butterflies that have followed me to this cursed property here at the Lotus at the Villages Walk. And um, I'm going to do this, this picture that I took. And it was literally a white peacock butterfly on the property in Buckingham that just sat still for me. I said, would you please... Would you please just sit still for me so I can take your picture? And sure enough, he, she did. I can't tell the difference between male and female. I'm not an entomologist. And so I have this picture. And I'm going to make some more butterflies because I realized something. My mother, mo mother's butterflies will follow me wherever I go if I'm in the north. Why? Because I can create my own white peacock butterflies. And so I'm going to create my own white peacock butterfly out of gouache paint and I'm going to do it for my friend Dr. Tiffany because she's all about the butterflies too and I'm going to send one to her and I wanted wanted to tag her in this video and I wanted you to see me work you know this is what I did with my videos on YouTube um, just the the time-lapse photography with the me creating this art and so that's what I'm going to do Tote my paint brush and my ever trusty use and try to mimic sky cerulean night times ultramarine could frame the light stretch stars of heaven try to find another to in all my shades of blue To shadow the white of a snow-capped mountain Or mix the ever-subtle changes in a cadmium canyon And I am mocked that he spoke this song into existence And it was good And it was good Every sandy grain that borders the azure sea And it was good And created smiles Jesus is always good 
got a baby's face contented at his mother's side. My feeble voice could never speak a song of joy. The larks used to greet the morning day. Or mouth the honest words of a child who has knelt to pray. And I am all that he spoke this all into existence. It was good Every tiny being that ever came to be It was good He created Both you and me All creation smiles
Resting in his love, I emerge and I spring.